Hi everybody, it's Thomas here from Thomas Fitzgerald Photography and today I have a quick beginner's tip for you for Capture One. So, one of the things that you will often have to do in any photo editing software is copy and paste your settings to different images or on, sometimes on a larger scale you might want to synchronize your changes across lots of different images. Now, if you're coming from Lightroom, you may find that Capture One's way of doing this is a little confusing. So once I show you how it works, you'll find it much easier to use and get the hang of. Okay, so first of all, uh, let me just make a quick change to this image so that we have something to copy and that it's really obvious. And so I'm just going to make it black and white, like so. Okay, so now say I want to copy this, the settings in this image to the next image. So there's two different ways of doing it. Actually, there's three different ways of doing it, but we're going to start with one. So the um, simplest and most obvious way is to go copy adjustments. And this basically will copy any adjustment on the image that has been changed. So for example, uh, I haven't changed the saturation or the hue here, so they won't be copied. But uh, I have changed the highlights and the levels, so they will be copied. And of course, I have also added a black and white. So if I go to the next image and I want to paste these adjustments, I can't use the standard paste key, which is Command V or Control V on a PC. You have to use adjustments, apply adjustments, which is basically paste adjustments. Okay, so just think of it as an extra shift key on the normal copy and paste keys. So to copy adjustments is Command Shift C or Control Shift C and to paste adjustments, it's Control Shift V. And there we have it, we've pasted our adjustments. Okay, so that's fairly straightforward. But if you're coming from Lightroom, you may know that when you copy adjustments in Lightroom, you get a, a dialog box where you can select which ones you want to copy and which ones you don't. So to get that in Capture One, what you need to do is go Adjustments and the rather mysteriously named Copy and Apply Adjustments, which can be a bit confusing, but anyway, let's just go through it. So. Copy and apply adjustments will bring up the adjustments clipboard. And here you will see a list of checkboxes and all of the adjustments that you've made to the image will have a tick on them and you can turn them on and off. So for example, I don't want to do any sharpening on this. So I'm going to turn that all off and I don't want that layers. So I'll turn that off and now I can just go copy. Okay, so to apply this then to another image, it's just the same as before, you just go adjustments, apply adjustments. And I think some of the confusion around this tool comes from the fact that it says copy and apply adjustments. So what a lot of people do is they will see this and they will think, all right, I used this to copy and then I have to use this again to apply and they hit the apply button to um, basically to paste the settings that they've copied and that doesn't work because that is not what this rather stupidly named apply button does. So what does this apply button do? This is actually a sync button. So again, if you're coming from Lightroom, think of this being the same as the sync button in Lightroom. So to show you what I mean, let's start on another selection of images. So I just have a few, let me just actually reset all these. So I'm gonna reset the two of these. Reset adjustments. Okay, so that's reset both of these. So now what I want to do is sync the adjustments from this image to all three of these. So first of all, we select the one that we want to start from. So again, this is the active image. And then I shift select all of these. And again, you'll see the active image has the, the stronger box around it. And that's very important because that is the one we're going to copy from. So now this time we bring up our copy and apply adjustments again. And we don't have to hit copy. All we have to do is hit apply. So as I said, think of this like the sync button in Lightroom, if you're coming from Lightroom um, and just hit apply and this will now sync all your changes across all your images. So that is basically how copy and apply adjustments works. However, there's one other thing you should know about this and that is you can actually also do this on individual tools. So for example, if I go to the black and white tool here and you'll see we have this little button um, on the panel which will bring up the copy and apply adjustments clipboard. So if I hit this, it'll just bring up the adjustments that are in this tool panel. And in this case, we have black and white enabled. We haven't changed anything else. And this behaves exactly the same as the other one. So if I hit copy, 
it'll now copy that to the clipboard and then to paste it say onto this image all I have to do is go command shift V and there we go it'll just paste that adjustment and also the same thing will work for synchronization as well so if I say select this again and I select these three images and I want to sync across these I can just go click this button again to the adjustments clipboard and then hit apply and it will sync my settings all across these images. I find this method particularly handy if you're for things like um, sharpening settings or noise reduction settings. Um, when you don't want to have to go through and take everything off, you can just pop over to the detail tool panel and go down to sharpening and then just hit copy and apply button and then just hit apply to synchronize that across. So. There you have it. Uh, it's a little, the terminology Capture One uses is a little confusing, especially if you're coming from Lightroom, but the way to think about it is, just think about the apply button in the adjustments clipboard as the, being the same as the sync button in Lightroom. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I will do my best to answer. And thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. Okay, see you next time.